In this video, I'd like to go over adding angular forces to an analysis in FreeCAD instead of forces that would be normal to a face. I had a user reach out and ask me this question, and I uh, didn't have anything on my channel to show a way to do it. So in the part design workbench, I'm going to start sketching on the XY plane. And let's do something like a uh, hexagon here. And I can add in a horizontal constraint here with H. Uh, shift V to make a vertical dimension will go with something like one inch. And now I can uh, close, let's pad that to uh, something like 0.65 inches tall. Now uh, I can choose how I want my force to go by using a sketch. And I can choose a face. And if there's no face that matches the direction that I want my force to be, I can also add in a, um, a datum plane and sketch on the datum plane. But uh, for my purpose, I'll choose this face. A for angle. We'll make that 30 degrees. And we'll go with something like <clears throat> one inch. We'll close that. And now uh, we'll head on over to the FEM workbench. And let's start by making a new analysis, which shows up in the tree down here. And maybe the first thing is highlight my body in the tree. Go to the GMesh, 0.075 inches. Let's say that's our largest uh, mesh size. And there we are meshed. So let's uh, go through that. I can add in constrained or fixed geometry. And I seem to remember putting this over here. <laughs> I'll put it back. I'll grab this uh, face. We'll add some fixed geometry on that face. I'll choose up here. And I'm going to choose a force on a face. You can do a pressure or anything else that you want to. Let's do a load of something like 9,950 newtons. And uh, we'll add reference, add this face reverse direction here. And I can choose my direction by selecting this line that I sketched, right? So now our force is acting at that angle and FreeCAD has a brilliant visual representation for that. Uh, with that, I can simply add in a material and I can choose a material card. Calculate Steel works very well for doing examples because it's such a complete material within FreeCAD. So we find the material, we have our strain geometry, our force, our mesh, double click here. We'll write IMP file. And with our completed uh, written IMP file, I'll uh, run Calculix. All right, we're done in 10 seconds. We'll load uh, Calculix results. I can uh, show the displacement. I can, you know, make this a, a very high number. And if I go to absolute displacement, and I can run my slider to how this thing would move. And this is, you know, like apparently a factor of 100 times. Let's make this slider 10,000. And see, yeah, that's that's pretty dramatic there. Maybe a little bit too dramatic. Let's go with 1,000 times. So that's a 1,000 times more than it would move. But uh, it, the exaggeration shows you exactly the small amounts of flex that you might get in the face. You can also uh, go to the von Mises stress and have the color code show you where you have the most stress. Clearly uh, right here. Uh, so that is an example of how a force at an angle would behave. And I think uh, by running this analysis you can see it's quite accurate because we're having displacement in the direction of the force. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.